nobody. Nobody is holding you back but you. Not your family, not your friend, not your religion, not social media, not your haters, not your lovers, you. Because who is the person prioritizing people's opinions over your own? You. Who is the person who chooses to be lazy, to complain, instead of being disciplined and being consistent? You. Who is the first person that instead of you believing that you can do it, believing that you can achieve it, you're going to believe what anybody's going to tell you? Who is the person that you look at yourself in the mirror and you don't see nothing to be happy about, nothing to be proud? You don't see something in your mirror? You, you can see the person that can achieve you because achieve your dreams. And you know that if you are not the person who can achieve your goal, who can achieve your dreams, you know what to do, but you don't do those things. Why? Do you think somebody's going to come and do for you what you can do for yourself? Nobody's coming. Nobody's coming to change you. Nobody's coming to fix you. Nobody's coming to help you. Nobody's coming to do for you what you cannot do for yourself. You are the only person holding yourself back. And since you are the only person holding yourself back, you are the only person who can unlock yourself, who can unlock your potential, who can, who can unlock your success, who can unlock your greatness. It's you, nobody else. You are the person who chooses to remain stuck. Oh, this happened to me 10 years ago. This happened to me in the past. Oh my God, I went through this when I was a teenager, when I was in high school, when I was in college. Oh, this happened to me one month ago, one year ago, 10 years ago. You are the person who's still stuck. In your past, instead of learning the lessons on from your past and moving on, you are the person who keep letting the things that happened to you in the past, your traumas, your failures, mistakes still affect you because you give it power. It's you, it's nobody else, it's nobody else. Don't look right, don't look left, don't look up, don't look down, look in front of you, look in the mirror because the person, the number one person holding you back is you, not other people. Because guess what? Other people are not the one making choices for you. You are. Other people are not 20, 24 hours with you, but you are. Other people don't have your dreams, don't have your goals, don't have your vision. So it's not on other people to achieve your goals, to achieve your dreams, to achieve your visions. It's on you. You are the only person holding yourself back. Every single time you're going to prioritize other people's opinions over your own, you are the one holding yourself back. Every time you're going to choose, because it is a choice. If you choose to complain, make excuses, instead of being consistent and disciplined, guess what? You are not producing nothing. Oh, well, you're the first person who's going to tell yourself, oh, I cannot do it. I cannot make it. If the way you see yourself, and the, if the way you think about yourself is not in a successful way, what makes you think that you're going to achieve success? If you see yourself somebody who's powerless, somebody who's useless, how? Are you going to create? How are you going to spread? How are you going to have power? If you see yourself as somebody who's powerless, nobody is holding you back but you. How do you see yourself? What are you doing for your goals? What are you doing for your dreams? It's not on other people to achieve your goals for you. It's not. Oh, well, because of the, the, the government is not doing this well. You are the one depending on the government for your food, for your education, for your safety. And if you depend on other people, guess what? Those other people can control you. Oh, my parents don't support me. Guess what? Your parents are not the one in your mind. You are. Your parents are not the one in your body. You are. Oh, my friends don't believe in me. Who choose your friends? You did. You, not other people. So if you know that the, the people you call friends do not support you, do not believe in you, do not bring nothing positive to your life, why do you keep them in your life? Why do you keep calling them friends? Because you choose to. The same way you know that they are not bringing nothing good to your life, is the same way you can decide to take them out of your life. But no, you won't do it, right? Because, oh, I know my friends since I was a kid, since 10 years ago, 5 years ago, oh, people will be together to a lot. It's not the time, it's the person. And people change. People can change for whatever they want to change because they are allowed. If somebody's energy into your life is not being healthy, is that, that person is not bringing nothing to be happy about, nothing to smile, nothing to be proud of, nothing good to your own health, 
So your mental health, your physical health, your financial health, your emotional health, your spiritual health. Why do you keep that person in your life? Nobody's holding you back but you. Nobody's holding you back but you. Because you can choose that from today, I'm only going to love myself. I'm only going to support myself. I'm only going to invest in myself. I'm only going to believe in myself. From today, I'm going to do what is necessary to achieve my goals, to achieve my dreams. I'm going to grind. I'm going to hustle. I'm going to be consistent. I'm going to be disciplined. I'm going to keep investing, investing, investing in me. Because I am me. And because I am a bigger competition. You think you want to wanna, oh, wanna compete with the market? You want to compete with other people in the same area that you are? People in your same industry? Compete with you. Compete with who you were last night. Not to who somebody else today. Compete with procrastination. Compete with your laziness. Compete with you making excuses. Compete with every time you have thought of giving up. Compete with every time you have thought of quitting. Compete with your laziness. Compete with your trauma. Compete with your ego. Compete with yourself so you can better yourself. Compete with yourself so you can become the person you want to become. Instead of, oh no, I'm going to compete with this. I'm going to compete with him, with her. Compete with you. Compete with the person in the mirror. Because that's what? You can try to change the mirror. You cannot change the mirror. But if you change who you are, the mirror is going to change. You are the only one holding yourself back. Be honest about it. So at least you can change. You are the only one holding yourself back. Because you too is a choice. You doubt yourself, it's a choice. You don't believe in yourself, it's a choice. You are not confident, it's a choice. You are, you don't, you are not consistent, it's a choice. You are not disciplined, it's a choice. And the same way you are choosing to do things that are bringing nothing good to your life, is the same way you can switch it up and start doing things that are bringing greatness into your life. Because if you have the energy to doubt yourself, you have the energy to believe in yourself. If you have the energy, the time to go and to the store and buy your shoes, buy a shirt, buy, 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 buy pants, you have the energy and you even have the money to invest in, your, in yourself, to invest in your mindset, to invest in your ideas, invest in your goals. If you have time to sit around and complain and make excuses, you have time to be disciplined and consistent. You are the only one holding yourself back. So can you please unlock yourself? So you, can you please unlock your greatness, unlock your potential? So can you please rise every day and go for life and home for yourself? So can you please invest in yourself? So can you please invest your time, your energy, your attention into building the life you want for yourself? Can you do that? Or you're gonna keep waiting? Oh no, I'm going to wait on the government. I'm going to wait on my parents. I'm going to wait on, on my boyfriend, my girlfriend, my wife. Oh, I'm going to wait on my religion. I'm going to wait, I'm going to wait. Stop waiting for other people to come and do what you cannot do for yourself. Who's living your life? You. Who's thinking your thoughts? You. Who's choosing your habits? You. Who's choosing your mindset? You. Who's choosing the things you do every day? You. Who is choosing? Who do you pay attention to? You. No other people. You. Your life is yours. So definitely it's on you to change it. Not other people. I'm sorry, but nobody's coming. You say you have a dream. You say you have a goal. It's on you to achieve it. You say you want to make money. It's on you to make it. You say you want to become better. It's on you to do it. You say you want to be more confident. It's on you to do it. You say you want to be healthy. It's on you to do it. You say you want to make more money? It's on you to do it. You say you want to build a business? It's on you to do it. You say you want to travel? It's on you to do it. You say you want you want a bigger house? It's on you to do it. You say you want to be positive? It's on you to do it. You say you want to start loving yourself? It's on you to do it. Because there is nothing that if you made your mind up to that, if you make the decision, if you make the commitment, that hey, I'm waiting on nobody. I'm gonna make myself great. If you make that decision, if you make that commitment, nobody can stop you but you. Nobody can limit you but you. Nobody can hold you, can hold you back but you. You are the only one holding you back. 
It's not people's opinions. Because you're the one who even prioritize people's opinions over your own. Why do you care about somebody who's not in your shoes had to say about your life? Nobody's holding you back. It's you. So, take up on yourself. Be honest with yourself. Are your habits allowing you to create and to build the life you want for yourself? If the answer is no, change your habits. Is your mindset allowing you to create and to build a life you want for yourself? If the answer is no, change your mindset. Are your behaviors allowing you to create and to build a life you want for yourself? If the answer is no, change your behaviors. Are the people you hang out with the most allowing you, supporting you, putting life into you, putting energy into you, so you can create and to build a life you want for yourself? If the answer is no, change the people you hang out with. Simple. It's a simple question. Look at yourself in the mirror and ask yourself. Are the things I do every day making me be close to my goals, close to my dreams? Or are those things keeping me away from my goals, away from my dreams? If whatever you are doing consistently is keeping you away from your goals, away from your dreams, stop doing it. As simple as that. And again, nobody else is holding you back. Is you. Every time you doubt yourself, you are holding yourself back. Every time you're scared, you are holding yourself back. Every time you care about what people are going to say about you, you are holding yourself back. Every time you complain and making excuses, you are holding yourself back. Any time you procrastinate, you are holding yourself back. Any time you prefer to wait on other people to come do things to you, instead of you rising and doing them for yourself, you are holding yourself back. Every time you look at yourself in the mirror and you don't speak life into yourself, you don't speak positivity about yourself, you don't speak health to yourself, you don't speak money to yourself, you don't speak happiness to yourself, you don't speak money to yourself, you are holding yourself back. Every time you have an idea and you don't execute, you are holding yourself back. Every time you put your own self down, you are holding yourself back. Every time you are not doing what it is that your soul wants to do, your heart wants to do, you are holding yourself back. Every time you are not learning from your mistakes, learning from your failures, you are holding yourself back. Every time you keep letting your past control you, your past manipulate you, you are holding yourself back. You are the only one holding yourself back. Nobody else. Nobody else. Because no matter who you can name or who you can blame, or who you think is the reason why you are the way you are, or who you think is the person holding you back, that's false. Because that person is not the one living your life. Absolutely. So if you think there is somebody else holding you back, answer this question. If you die today, is that person going to die with you? If the answer is no, then again, you are the only person holding yourself back. And since you are the only person holding yourself back, you are the only person who can achieve success for you. You are the only person who can create, who can have, who can build, who can receive happiness for you. You are the only person who can make you happy. You are the only person who can make you confident. You are the only person who can make you strong, who can make you wise, who can make you kind, who can make you positive, who can make you a billionaire, a trillionaire. You are the only person, nobody else. You are the only one holding yourself back. And you are the only one who can delete, disconnect, remove, stop holding yourself back. If you want to be successful, stop holding yourself back. If you want to achieve your goals, achieve your dreams, stop holding yourself back. If you want to become the person you dream of becoming, stop holding yourself back back like subscribe and share if this video was valuable to you thank you for your attention